more than the money you requested for to take care of your mother's sides. Hmm? <laughs> As for your brother, consider him a free man already. Uh, as soon as I drop you at the bank, uh, I will go to the king and I beg on his behalf. Uh, in fact, everybody knows that uh, there is nothing I ask from the king and he doesn't do. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, if not for another thing. I would do it uh, because of uh, the close friendship I had with your father all his life. You really won't understand how devastated I feel about uh, what happened to him and your mother. In fact, you have brought everything to an end by coming to me. Yes. Thank you, Ichi. Ichi, <laughs> God will bless you. Yeah, thank God will you. reward you heavily oh, really for this. I can't thank you enough. You are welcome. Thank you are you welcome. So much. You are welcome. Thank you. 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 Uh, what others do with their clothes off. Huh? Huh? What? You, you mean. You mean sex? Of course, yes. Yes? It's yours, eh? Your third daughter is my age mate. Oh, come on. The man whose money that your brother was alleged to have stolen is not just my king. He's more of a brother to me. And the man whose son your brother was alleged to have kidnapped is a very close family friend. So what, what, what do you think made me to agree to assist you people in the first place? My Tell father. Me. Mm. Think about my father. Your childhood friend. A man who, since you lost your wife six years ago, always made sure that his wife made your supper whenever you are in the kingdom. How do you think my father would feel hearing you say this to his own daughter just hours after his gruesome mother with his family still crumbling under the weight of this tragedy? Uh, the dead neither see nor talk. I better take my leave now. Come on, Chama. You people need the money and my help. Yes, me too. Good. But not in exchange for my pride as a woman. Come on. The world is not a moral arena, Chama. Neither is it an arena for brazen immorality. We are crying every day. The pain is too much. Help us Lord. Are you by any means questioning my instructions, young man, in my own kingdom? I am ordering, not begging you. If you by any chance do anything other than what I've ordered you to do, I will destroy you. I will destroy your career. I will destroy your generation. Do I make myself clear? Shut up! I have spoken. So please go straight to the point. 
the lawyer I consulted to help my brother is in his car outside waiting for me. And every second wasted could be my brother's last. I don't get this. Is there anyone threatening to kill him? So Sam, why did you insist that I come immediately? I'm here now, now. Mm -hmm. Well, um, the situation now, the surgery on your mother's eyes is no more necessary. Yes, getting her back on her feet is what we should be talking about. And that will take a whole lot of money. 150,000 naira. Yes, and I will like to get it before I do anything. With what happened to your brother, I have to get it first before or I throw her out. You, you can't be. I am damn serious, Choma. What do I have to do to convince you? Pay the whole money up front today. Go and meet the accountant. Come back here with the evidence that you have paid. That's it. Doctor, please. Don't do this. Doctor, don't do this. Though. I'm begging you. I'm begging you in God's name. We will pay you. We will pay you every money, every dime. As soon as my mother recovers, we will, we will pay you. We... No deal. Yes. I won't commence any treatment on your mother anymore until I get that money before 9 a.m. tomorrow. We'll pay you the balance in three days. Pico, please, I'm begging you, please. In three days, you said. I swear to God. We are crying every day. The pain is too much to bear. Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling? God. While in God's name were his majesty. Call and don't ask me to do this to this lady. And threatens that he is going to destroy my career if I don't do it. Why is he being so cruel to this family who are passing through a whole lot? God. He said that his consultation fee is twenty thousand naira. And it must be paid before anything else follows. He equally said that we must pay him 400,000 naira to represent you in court. Half of which must be paid up front. I cried my eyes out in his office, pleading with him to follow me to this place without any payment yet. The 10,000 naira I paid at the hospital was the last of my savings. And what do we do? God. Why is all this happening now? What? Why is that? How did it go? Well, no one will ever touch you again. That I've effectively stopped. And there ends the charity work. Until my consultation fee and half of my main charge is being paid. I'm afraid I'm off your case. Guys. Thank you very much for saving my life. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Please. I promise you one thing. We will never own you. We will never ever own you. Promise. But you need to sit down and, and, and hear me out. Let me tell you my own part of the story. Well, we have all the time in the world for that once I confirm my payment. See you down. Hey! Bye, sir. is the only one I'm sure that can help at this moment. What else man took my phone? Oh, 
And I, I don't have his number off head. <laughs> Choma. Choma. You have to go back to the barrister. Convince him. By any means possible, convince him to get me out of here. Yes. I need to come out. So that I can join you to handle Mama's case. And we can equally plan Papa's funeral. Please, John. I was actually with the lawyer I consulted to help out in my brother's case when you were calling me. I'm sorry I couldn't come immediately. Rico, why were you calling? You kept calling, insisting that I come immediately. Uh, well, as you already know, uh, this hospital is funded by the state government. I don't know how the Commissioner of Health got to know about your mother's case. He called me a while ago and ordered me to withdraw the three days grace I give to you. That means you have to pay every dime. And that should be done before 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, How is that possible? Doctor, you, you can't do this. You can't do this to us, please. Chioma, I am only a civil servant. I don't own this establishment. If I disobey the commissioner's uh, orders, uh, I may be sacked. Is that what you want? No, no, that's not what I want at all. But Dr. Shirley, there must be something you can do for us. Please. Well, there is a way out, but it all depends on you. Me? Yes, you. I can pay off the bill. But in exchange of one thing from you. What is it, Doctor? Two rounds of sex. Here and now. If you're ready, I am ready. And helped. 
recently took him away from me. I need my family back. I need company. I need you, Baba. I really need you. Sexual advances at me in the space of two hours. How bizarre. I lost my father. My mother got blinded. Arrested just today. And instead of sympathy, everybody is forcing me to sleep with him. I think it's a conspiracy. Why not? Why, why me? Why this? Why? Become one, no matter the circumstances or what is at stake. Don't <laughs> do it. Thank you. So, what are we going to do now? I have just three hours that I left it in me. I, I have 300,000 that are in my account. Yes. Part of the 180,000 housing allowance 
my company paid me two weeks ago and some money I saved from my NYC allowing plus some money Papa saved using my account you know he used to use my account for bank transactions go home and get my checkbook I will make you a check for everything for all of it once you cash the money tomorrow Go and pay Mama's hospital bills. Embarrass the someone's fees. Just go. Just my hostel roommates in your first day in the university. I took you in like a brother. I took you like a brother. See, I made sure you didn't enter into any campus courts because I didn't want you to be contaminated with crimes just like me. Kelly. I protected you from all forms of intimidations, humiliations on campus. <laughs> no one dared to mess with you, Kelly, because they know that I will explode in the face of whoever that does that. How could you, Kelly? How could you, Kelly? How could you pay me with such betrayal? Recruited by a secret service operative to work as a student free agent for the DSS, right? Right? He asks you to spy on heads of campus courts and secretly video record them while committing actual crimes. And you agreed. You agreed. You did the job for three years. Three long years. Kelly? Without finding out why no arrests were made based on the videos you made. And you agreed. Kelly, you agreed. You did the job for three long years. Three long years. You didn't even care to know why no arrests were made. You didn't even care to know why no arrests were made based on the video you, you gave to him, right? Kelly! Just because of 50,000 naira. Just because he was paying you 50,000 naira monthly. Just because of 50,000 naira, you messed my life up, Kelly. You messed my life up. You recorded me and my friends, killing the daughter of an Anglican bishop during a fair grade stunt. And you gave the tape to a rope officer working for a rope politician and other criminals in this country. Do you know how many times, do you know how many times I and my guys have been blackmailed, committing heinous crimes for people with the tape, with this same tape? Do you know? Three times. Three horrible times, Kelly. And this time, this time the crime is such that I can't even return to the land of my to the land of my bath. Rezo. Rezo was murdered right in front of me and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything to save him. I am my father's only son. 
Do you know what that means to my father? Do you? <laughs> Honestly, Osmond, I never knew that Mr. Kenneth was not a DSS operative. Oh, what was actually using the tip for to now? I I feel like a compound idiot right now. Yes, I, 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 I'm, I'm really, really very sorry. I don't even know what to say right now. I don't, I don't even know what to say right now. Shut up! Your apology is rejected. It is too late. Uh, Kelly, it's too late. I'm sorry. Just today, dig off my native kingdom. Use the same tape you made and forced Rezo to kill an innocent man. After forcefully placing the eye of his wife with a sharp object. Mm -hmm. Kelly, mm -hmm. as if that was not enough, I was forced to commit another crime that would make the man's only son to get arrested for armed robbery. I am still alive talking to you. Because I am smarter than Rezo. Who trusted him so much and got killed by Ibrahim's henchman's bullets. Well, I survived. Not just to run away and live a good life far away with Ibrahim's money, but for revenge. Revenge, Kelly! Revenge against you and Mr. King. Shut up! Well, Kelly, it's too late for you. It's too late for your apologies. By the way, I traced Mr. Kenny before coming here. And I ended it for him and his entire family with bullets in their heads. Not before he confessed with evidence that you, Kelly, was the one who made it tape and gave it to him. Now it's your turn. Open it. Open it. In there, the phone of the police. This area. Now, let's think carefully. Okay. Dial that number there. Huh? Dial the number and call them. Tell them that you've mistakenly shot your girlfriend during a fight. Do it now! Shut up! Shut up! Shoot me, right? <laughs> See, listen. I am leaving this room to hide somewhere else. Now make the call I told you. I said call them. Now make the call I told you. Just tell them exactly what I told you right now.
a newer song. That harmless looking and intelligent young man. Somebody wants us to believe that he has the mind to plan, rob and kidnap my son. Few hours after his father was murdered in cold blood. And his mother, his own mother, mercilessly made. How? When did he plan it? At least the robbery. How did he know that my son was in possession of His Majesty's $696,000 at that material time? And why will His Majesty send my son to the bank with such huge amount of money without an escort? What happened yesterday on their way to the bank? Was it really a coincidence or a carefully planned setup? What? Oh no! What is that? We all know what the tradition says about the landed properties of any man who dies without a son to inherit them. It all goes back to the Igwe. Anyone was murdered in cold blood. Few hours later. That's what got me. Anyone's son was handed over to the police by you, an accused of armed robbery, kidnap and possible murder. Three capital offenses in the state. How do we explain that? No. Elders. I am innocent. Really? You are innocent? Okay. 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 Uh, uh, let's put it this way. Against the tradition that you started since you became the Igwe, uh, in which you employ indigents of Ihubi to fill up vacancies in your companies during your birthday celebrations annually, you suddenly broke that tradition and employed two people. Five long months before the birthday. Those employed were my only son and in us only son. Two weeks later, what happened yesterday happened. How do I believe that you have no hand in this? How do I believe that you are not the one engineering this and you are still engineering it? To eliminate my family and a new family so that you can possess our lands. How dare you? How dare you? Wretched soul! Get out of my palace before I, I order my guards to give me your empty head on the ladder. Get out! Get out! What am I taking with you? Now come with me or not? Come, come with me. Come with me, I say. Come, come. Are you 
so short lived? Is your memory so short that you've forgotten everything? All my kindness to you, to your family? I helped your father pay your fees, school fees at the university. Have you forgotten? I mean, everything I did, I've been doing for you since graduation. Have you forgotten all that? How could you look me in the eyes, Arenze? How could you look me in the eyes and lie to me after explaining to you in the cabinet meeting a while ago and its implications? Have you no respect for the ancient tool of our kingdom? If you don't have respect for that, please show. Show a modicum of respect for me. How could I lose respect for the ancient people of our people and its occupant? How could I, when you've done nothing but sh show us so much kindness? Your Majesty, told you the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I don't know anything about the money or Osman's disappearance. I'm a victim here. Please believe me. What? That he should believe you? Why should he believe you? Why should we believe you? When the police investigation revealed that you tampered with your own car, deceived Osmond into carrying you in his yesterday, Arinze said the truth and preserve the dignity of the throne of Ehobe. Must you destroy everybody? Must you destroy everything for whatever you started all this for? Arinze, must you? It's yours, Allah. I started nothing. My mother is now irredeemably blind because of what happened yesterday. How could I let that happen to her? My own mother, it's yours, Allah. How could I put her in such a condition? I love everybody in my family. They mean the world to me. I'm innocent. As for the car, I got to know about the deliberate damage done on it from the police this morning. I did not do it. I swear, I'm innocent here. Please believe me. Arenze, I told you only yesterday. That I was no longer interested in that stolen money. But in Osmond's whereabout. Did you think I was lying or something? No, Your Majesty. I know you were not lying. But I don't have the money. And I don't know where Osmond is. As a matter of fact, I have to empty my account to enable you pay lawyers. More lawyers to help you lie yourself out of the mess you created, right? No, Your Majesty, that, that's not... Oh, you want to deny that too? Okay. Now, who paid another lawyer to come here yesterday and stop them from beating the truth out of you? Who did? Who did it? Huh? Mm. Alright. Too bad. Too bad that fool is not going to be here to see what.
what is going to happen. It's not going to be here. You will not be here when I beat you black and blue. He will not be here when I pummel you. He will not be here when I Right inside his living room. 
Hello? What? Just tell me you are lying. Are you not? God of mercy. What is going on in this community? It is another mother of your highness. Hey! The lawyer, Arise and his sister hired. Huh? was found dead in a bush in Okibo. What is happening in our community? Hey! Hey! What is... Hey, yeah, 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 yeah! Hey! Hey! Clear of the road. Let's pull over. Your Majesty. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, we need to go to the hospital to see a doctor. Immediately. It's yours, Allah. You have been sleeping with your sister's daughter. The one who is in the university. And also staying with you during holidays in your house. I have video evidence to prove it. Huh. Uh, Your Majesty, you, you, you are Stanley. Let me show it to him. You have you have this kind of hey, I, I, I just, put it off. Two abortions have been committed by you and the girl in question. There is also a video evidence about it. Now, do you want me to go public or to disgrace you out of Ube? <coughs> your, your Majesty, please, no. <coughs> no, please, please, please. Wait, wait, you. Ichi Ozala. Is this a kind of... Ichi uh, Odeko. The so-called children, all of them, are the biological children of one of the Reverend Fathers posted to you. Hey. Hey, hey. You and your wife planned it because you are impotent. Hey. I have video evidence to prove it. Now do you want me to go public with it? Or do you want me to the scandal to spread in Ihube? It will affect you, it will affect the Reverend Father in question. Uh, you may, you may take it this with me. Please let no other hear here this, please. Very good. Now, apart from the two of you, has anyone heard about what? No vomited in my palace 
earlier today. Have you told anyone? Have you? No, 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 no. Good. Stanley. I quickly dismissed uh, Mazi Chike so that uh, they will not tell him anything. And make sure that they all followed us inside his our car, as you instructed your majesty. As his majesty instructed? I never had any heart attack. I merely faked it to bring you people here. I merely faked it to bring all of you here. For what? Your Majesty. Uh, uh, is there some truth in Onowu's accusation? Do you have a hand in the tragedy that befell Onowu, my case man, and his family? Eh? Yes. Your Majesty. Are you the one who arranged the Robbery to set Arinze up. Where, 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 where is Osmond? Did you kill him too? Do you expect me to answer those silly questions? To you, Stanley, Your Majesty, give me that. What? <laughs> this is Otarana. <laughs> the deadliest and the most potent totem for swearing in our tradition. <laughs> Otarana kills very disgracefully. Anyone who swore by it and fails to do what is wrong. Swear with Otarala, both of you. That no ear will ever hear what no said at our meeting. Or speculate about what happened yesterday. In fact, swear that you will do whatever I ask you to do without any question at all. Should you do otherwise, let Otarala kill you and your entire families. Swear now. But your majesty, you already have damning stuff about both of us. So, uh, so that is to make you swear. And this is to ensure your silence and loyalty forever. Two different things for two different purposes. Now, swear. With your right hand! With your right hand! Link your hands and put them over it. I swear. Take away your hands, you have sworn. What are we doing in the hotel room? You told me in the car, the doctors finally were able to patch up Nika to the extent she regained consciousness and corroborated my story to the police on tape before she finally died yesterday. For that, all charges against me 
were dropped today. And I was released to you about an hour ago. So what? Why are we in our town? Instead of us going home to celebrate it. Where is my father? He did not come with me. You traveled? No. So my father is at home. And he did not come to take his son who was granted. He is not aware you have been released. I couldn't tell him. Uh, why? I'm his first son. He should be happy that I'm out and free for He knows. He will kill you. Yes, he vowed as much. He found out. Found out what, man? Found out what? The doctor he sent to treat you when you got healed after your arrest last week did not just treat you, Kelly. He obtained some specimen from you for a DNA test on the others of your father. I don't get it. Why would my father order a DNA test on me? From the earliest days of our marriage, we started suspecting that you were not this son. Especially when I had you seven months into our marriage. With the help of the doctor, I convinced him that you were born premature. He started doubting your paternity again after your arrest for murder and the scandalous confession you made about the thefts you made on campus. You can't begin to imagine how many threats we have gotten from members of different court groups because of you. He had to do something before things get out of hand. And he or any of your siblings get killed by them. Before I knew what was happening, the test was over and the result out in the public domain. It confirmed that you are not his biological son and your father made a radio announcement about it, telling all those threatening us to let us be and go for you instead. Since you are not scientifically proving not to be his son, since then, the threat stopped. I have to rush to sneak you out of the police station before the news of your release goes public. Cortis must be waiting in the wind to silence you forever. As soon as they can. More than my husband's threats. It is what the devils might do to you that I fear most. I have lost my husband already. Yes. He filed for a divorce after the test. I don't want to lose you too, Kelly. You are my blood. I can't let you die. I can't, my son. My dear son, I am sorry. Who is my biological father? Who are your voice, please, my son? Please. Go to this address in Igumali at the local government area, Benue State, and meet the man whose name is in this paper. He is your biological father's very close friend. I am sure he will take you to him. Take this too. That's all I could raise for you. My husband ordered my bank account suspended. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 
How can I stop crying? How can I stop crying? It's simple, not go man, go see, go see, man, be your neighbor. Your father, my dear husband, was murdered. I was brutally made blind. And look at you, my son. You were set up, detained, and mercilessly tortured for the crimes you never committed. And the lawyer you paid to help you was murdered just few hours after getting paid his part payment with your last savings. Look at you. You are facing charges for three capital crimes that you never committed. How can I stop crying? Tell me, how can I stop crying? Eh? I will survive this. And I will come back to you now. We will pick up the pieces and rebuild our family. Okay? You will survive it how? Eh? We don't have any money. Not even to hire a third class lawyer to argue your case. Harry, the tell me who is going to get you acquitted here? Who is going to do that for you? Who is going to take care of your blind mother? Tell me. I will take care of you. Choma. Yes. What? What did I hear you say? You will take care of me by selling your body to I'm not a prostitute. And I will never become one no matter what happens. Children, it is only God, only God, only He can help us. Only God can help us, my children. You will never fail us in Jesus' name. Amen. Chum, take Mama back home. Look for anything, anything whatsoever that you can sell to raise money. At least to sustain yourselves and use the remaining to launch my legal defense. There is, a, there is nothing valuable to be sold except land. Then sell the land. But, but, but not the one that the proposed oil well is to be cited. Not that one. I'd rather go to jail than have that life. Don't talk like that. You're not going to jail. You will not go to jail, Arisa. You will not go to jail.
This is your father's house. Yes, this is his house. Adaku. It is me, Ozuku. Yes, your landlord in Igumali. Alamochi. Alamochi, babe. Hey, hey, hey. Mama, eh? this way. It's me. What happened to you? Is that really you? Uh, when I found out that she, one of my students then, had an affair with my husband, and that she is even pregnant for him, I forgive her and even ready to allow her become my husband's second wife. Had it been your grandfather agreed, Eunice would have been here today as one of us. But as a rich and powerful man in Ngume, he easily turned people against us after sending your mother away. My husband, out of fear for our safety, he resigned his job at the railway corporation when they refused his transfer. And we quickly ran down to this village. That was the last time I heard about your mother. I have nothing against anyone. Neither did your father. But if you say that what you seek from me is forgiveness, I forgive you from my heart. Yes. My son. Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much. Sit down. Choma. Choma, my daughter. Please, accept him. Mr. Ozoko here is your father's best friend. And he is a responsible man too. He can never lie about a thing like this. This young man here is your brother. Yes. Mama, please. My head is running riot now. I need to get some rest. Rest, Chama. We should the one going out. Yes, Leave my daughter alone! 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 Leave my daughter alone!